Dog, <laughs> Damian Barling in the building. You sound better today. Thanks, man. I'm trying. It's uh, I don't know what's going on. This is this has just been brutal. The whole week has just been brutal. The doctor told me what to do, but I was like, buddy, I can't do that. I cannot <laughs> not talk for 48 hours, man. I'm really sorry. Yeah. He's like, well, cut out caffeine. He's like, you already don't eat dairy. Just just get 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 through, get through Friday. It. Yeah. Get through Friday. And then and don't then talk. Do not talk the entire weekend. Like, All right. <laughs> you got <Bad>. it. <laughs> I will I'll be I'll be trying to sign language the entire weekend on my little little stops, but um <laughs> Like I like I it, pen, there's pen, just... no chance I could miss yesterday's show. And no, obviously I'm not missing tomorrow. It's Sky River leading into the Pelicans. So of course. it's just been Oh, that's gonna be loud talking. Uh, yeah, we're we we've made a, a couple of adjustments to the broadcast that we think will help the people on stage. So um yeah, normally those shows wipe just absolutely wipe your voice out. Mm -hmm. But we're we're making a couple of adjustments. Jonathan has made a couple of adjustments. Our lead in the man to how we do things. So uh, hopefully that will will help us get through a little bit. And if I can improve just like ten percent leading into tomorrow, I think I'll be in really good shape for that Sky River event. If not, I'm just going to pull Ramsey and Katrina and different people on stage to come host with Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Kenny and Fred yeah, show. Yeah. Um, I posited early in the show that it's actually a good thing that the Kings got the Pelicans. Yeah. Because I think you're going to get a more locked in version than you might have. And maybe they would have been locked in against the Lakers and wiped the floor no. with them, but it's less of a worry. Complacency is less of a worry to me now than it would have been. Yeah, I agree because the complacency you would think would come from the new Orleans Pelican side. Definitely. Like it was a really unique thing where either the, the Kings were going to have to beat the Pelicans, a team that they hadn't beaten all year mm -hmm. or they were going to have to beat the los angeles lakers a team they haven't lost to all year mm -hmm. and i think each of those brings a unique uh, set of pressures to it and for me and james you've talked about this before in the past i you know i didn't want to look past the, the 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 warriors and the lakers pelicans game was first but with everything behind us now I, i'd rather play the pelicans the pelicans might be the king beat the king's ass tomorrow sure but I would have rather have had a situation where you have to defy the odds here a little bit, yeah. And and you 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 go out there and beat the Pelicans than having to beat LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers in a one game playoff. Yeah, to be honest with you, that's the one genius to this is it's going to be called straight up. There is no there is no NBA agenda. There is no like yeah. who do you want to see there? Yeah. Like I don't think the league cares, especially with Zion gone. I don't think the league cares at all. This is straight up two teams. They're going to be able to battle, and you hope that it's called as as clean as possible. Yeah. Just if they're you're going to let them play, let them play. Let all of them play. Yeah. If you're you're going to call it tight, Tuesday. I that's feel like fine. that's what they did Tuesday. I yeah. I agree. They let they 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 let everyone play. They missed calls all over the place. That was that's what was that's what was so funny is I didn't feel like there were any egregious like oh that was not a foul why did they call it like there were definitely fouls when they blew the whistle but no. it would be like but it would be like wait okay yeah no he got him on the arm there for sure but on the other end they got him on the arm and the and the hand and the face and there was a push and then there was a push in the back on the rebound like you didn't call anything down there and then we get a touch foul on the other end the, 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 i think i tweeted once the entire game and it was the keegan murray play and the only reason it was funny is because they showed the replay from like that over Mm -hmm. head basket shot mm -hmm. and like he goes up and he's fouled and he's yes. pretty definitely it's a pretty definitely good foul mm -hmm. but he gets the rebound or recovers the ball i can't remember which goes up again and he's fouled again mm -hmm. no whistle no whistle he goes the third time and i think the officials were like all right jesus yeah. foul like we, <laughs> look we who we wants gave, it <laughs> we gave we gave you two we can't give you three all right we're sending keegan to there the was, line here there was the the play where keegan ripped steph in the backcourt when Steph just lazy turn around, mm -hmm. Keegan rips it from him. Goes out. he got fouled once or twice there too. At least at least once, maybe twice. Yeah. Warriors come away with it. Andrew Wiggins drives, gets hit on the arm as he's going up, and they blow the whistle. And that's the specific play that jumps out to me. Mm. Was like, okay, yeah, he got fouled, but what? What are there we? Was, there was another one. There <laughs> was, was another one with Clay. It was like they did just enough to try and control the game. Yeah, Clay. <laughs> Clay got fouled. I think it was on a jump shot. It wasn't a three, but mm -hmm. Clay. Clay got fouled. 
the next, I think it was the very next possession, De'Aaron got hacked. Mm -hmm. No foul on either one of them. And, and boy, boy. <clears throat> excuse me. These guys are really physical out here. It's like, okay, so these guys are really physical is now code for, uh, yeah, the refs aren't calling anything. Dude, I, we had the, the refs aren't calling other. nothing. <laughs> we had the weird play where Kaminga came from behind on uh, on Fox and hit him in the oh. head uh, on the jumper, right? And Kaminga starts like calling for the replay. Yeah, yeah. And Fox yeah. turns around and goes, yeah, replay, you hit me in the head. I want the flagrant. He, <laughs> so they're both going like this at the same time. You're like, yeah, that's Stop fine. The game. Review everything. <laughs> Stop the game. If you're going to hit me in the head, well, let's go ahead and look at the tape. Yeah. The refs were really confused. They're like, no one gets a review. I don't the, know what's the, going on here. No I one kind of dig it, though. Hey, I also, kinda, like, also, let's play. Hey, we look, didn't talk about this yesterday. Reviewing an out of bounds play less than two minutes into the game is insane. Oh, my gosh. I get it. Was I, He was right. The was, only thing I could think of is it was just so clear and obvious. Yeah, like, but then no one thought it was. Challenge? Everyone at home is like, oh, that's not going to get overturned. And then it was. Yeah, I didn't even see the replay. Oh, it was definitely thought, out yeah. on the Warriors. Yeah, it was I definitely yeah. the right review. I didn't even see the replay. I was like, I can't believe Mike did that. Even if that was end of the first quarter, I'd have been like, oh, okay, that's fine. But two minutes in, like, bro, nobody's picking up a foul. You know, just winner go home game? Like, no. Like, you, and if you, you had, need that, bro. <laughs> and if, yeah, if you didn't have your replay Mike, late in the game and it cost you ooh, the game. Mike is wild. He's, dude, he's Mike, the best. Mike is, Mike is amazing. But I get, you know, setting a tone like, hey, you know, every possession yeah. matters. Absolutely. Like, I guess. But Absolutely. It's just when I saw the review, I was like, he's kidding, right? And shout like, out to Keon, who did the review thing again in the first half. And Mike was like, no, like, no, I'm not doing that. Well, there was the one, too, where Keon, I think it was on Steph, kind of pushed it a little bit. It was very borderline. And they blow the whistle. And Mike's like looking up and he's looking back at his bench. And Keon looked at the bench and was like, no, no, no. Like, I, 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 I technically got him. Yeah. It's like, man, that's. Yeah. They should let fans review fouls. I agree. Because it's like, spirit of the rule, bro. Did yeah. he get his arm? Yeah, but did it affect the shot? Eh, come on. Yeah. I'm here for it, though. No whistles. Well, I'd rather I no mean, whistles. As long as, it, like Ham said, though, if you're, if it's the same on both sides, then yeah. fine. Yeah. So be it. No doubt. Yeah, and that's where I'm at. Like, hey, if it if it all evens out in the wash, mm -hmm. like, I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm and good. I don't think the officials were a part of that game at all. No. Like they didn't Not, impact totally anything. And, and I, that's what I would love to see. Like, okay, look, if you're going to let them play, let them play because yeah. I like the physicality. It's kind of interesting you say that. And we got about a minute here, but <laughs> we got about a minute. I'm going to bogart it. Um, no, but I think in that exact situation last year where the refs kind of come out and they're like, hey, boys, figure it out. Like, you guys got it. Yeah. I think the Kings lose in that situation last year. Where they're where they're every time going up there hunting and they're looking around they're like what the sure but this year they're like yep hey we know how this goes we're gonna bring that physicality okay you missed a call all right well we're gonna make sure to match that on the other end because they're not gonna blow the whistle I think that's one of the things they've kind of learned over the last playoff series and and throughout this year yeah I mean the second half of the season it's like hey it's game on just go out there and play yeah and ignore it ignore it because no one's gonna bail you out at all yeah I can't wait for tomorrow night I'm so excited that you can just erase so much frustration. Yep. 82 games worth of frustration you can erase with one win tomorrow. One win. Night. One win. 48 then, minutes. And then that first round series? Who well, cares? One game, <laughs> one game at a time. Nobody cares. One, one game at a time. One game at a time. Right. Want to know every day. D-Lo and KC coming up next. Uh, your code word today for the Nothing But Net $500 giveaway for our show was NET. They will have another code word for you. Uh, you enter it at ESPN1320.com. You'll be entered to win 500 hundred bucks what do you guys got coming up besides that? aren't you supposed to only give the code word out at 11 no in the 11 o'clock hour we do oh, what we want oh, bro i've been hey, dishing salute. i've been i've been dishing this code word out salute he refuses to Net. spell it i'm not spelling it oh well, <laughs> all right that's fine uh i don't know we, we podden oh we're podding today yeah we podding that's the best well he's with us today matt george is traveling so we can't talk to him ant-man anthony slater's with us the first hour <laughs> anthony edwards no close the other <laughs> ant-man slightly, slightly paler ant-man is with us d-lo and casey coming up next here on espn 1320 sacramento sports later